The next stop is Leaves. Leaves. We will be stopped for... Have we nearly arrived? Yeah. Sorry I had to be cooped up in Gorelia Fortress this past month. And I'm sure this isn't exactly a first-class cabin either. <laughs> Not to worry. This is something that needed to be done. While resting, the drain on my energy is insignificant. Besides, if it will reduce the burdens you shoulder, I am more than happy to comply. <laughs> you know, I'd think there was a human in there if I didn't already know that was you talking. Thanks, Velomar. You are welcome. Mm, is this it? Aha! Sure is. <sighs> Crying out loud. I don't know what all the fuss is about. Do they really need us to supervise unloading this junk? Huh? Picture that going through a landing port. Wow! I'd heard about them, but seeing one up close is wild. Wonder what they're doing here. A seven ards tall humanoid weapon. Panzer Soldats or something, yeah? No, I don't think so. This is the Ashen Knight, isn't it? Get out of here. Yeah, you're exactly right. I wouldn't have expected a civilian to know that, much less someone from outside Erebonia. <laughs> Let's just say I'm a little interested in things like this. A little? Your whole family goes nuts for this kind of stuff. But how'd you know we're not from around here? You have just the tiniest sliver of an accent. I'm guessing you're from somewhere down south? Liberal, maybe? Is it that easy to tell? <laughs> Bingo. So what? That makes you the Ashen Chevalier? Y yeah, I'm surprised you knew that too. Um... <sighs> Schwarzer? Are you back here? We'll be arriving in five minutes. Are you prepared? Hmm? All set. I'm good to go whenever. Sorry for holding you up. We gotta get ready ourselves. That's right. Thanks for talking with us. Who are those two? They didn't appear to be your everyday civilians. They're from Liberal. I guess they're getting off soon, too. Something tells me I'll be seeing more of them at my new job. Oh, is that so? I admit, I have heard the rumors. Now arriving at Leaves Station. Leaves Station. We will be stopped for 10 minutes to unload cargo. Huh. 
it would appear little has changed. The Ashen Knight is as beloved by the masses as ever. Well, I uh, tried to lay low this past year. I've turned down all the interview requests I've been bombarded with. It's little wonder then. For a young hero like yourself, such actions only serve to grant you an irresistible air of mystery. The rumors of your role in the Northern War have, by this point, far outstripped the truth. <sighs> My apologies. That was a regrettable slip of the tongue. No, it's all right. It's just something I'll have to deal with. Thank you, Patrick. For the last year... no, last two years, you've helped me out more times than I can count. Well, that was sudden. <laughs> I have simply been performing my duty as a member of the Glorious Class One. Of course I could spare some consideration for a hapless classmate with barely enough attendance to graduate. One who has unreasonable tasks thrust upon him on a near daily basis, yet somehow manages to triumph regardless. And you said I was sudden. You're serving as the deputy of the Marquis's family in Ordis now, right? I'm sure that's no walk in the park either, but I know you'll give it everything you've got. But of course. There's no way I can allow us to fall behind House Alborea. I recommend you do the same for whatever may come at your unique new workplace. And seeing as she is not so terribly far, do be sure to keep in touch with Lady Elise. Perhaps you might even put in a good word? Thanks again for all your help, Patrick. But that's an entirely different matter. No. <sighs> Take care. Hope to see you again soon. Indeed. Oh yes, it nearly slipped my mind. About that pledge Class 7 made one year ago. I hope to see it come to fruition. Oh. Yeah, I hope so too. Here I am. I've never been to the suburbs west of Heimdall before. Almost reminds me of Trista. <laughs> there are even Lino flowers blooming here. Trista and the Academy. I wonder how everyone who's still there is doing. Now Principal Van Dyke is after he returned to active duty. I never would have dreamed something like that would happen. That must be it there. I can tell it's brand new even from here. They said they'd take Valimar to the hangar on sight. Reed? Uh-huh. It really 
really is you, Rain. Wow, the magazines don't do you justice. You look so mature now. Did you get taller too? I almost didn't recognize you. Uh, Toa? Oh, did you not recognize me either? I definitely haven't gotten taller, but I'm hoping my new work uniform adds some womanly charm. O or maybe shows that my figure's filled out a little bit more? Uh, hold on. Hmm? It's just, uh, well, we haven't seen each other in a while, and I could never get a hold of you. Then you just show up out of nowhere, dressed for work, in the same town I'm about to start work? I never imagined we'd end up working at the same place. Sorry, I didn't mean to surprise you. I thought you already knew. Well, a lot happened before graduation. And after it. I'm sure you've heard all about it. Of course. It was actually one of the reasons I decided to come here. But it sure was a nice surprise to hear you'd be joining me. Same for me. Well, anyway... Congratulations on graduating, Rain. I'm sure there are plenty of other people who want to say that to you. But I figured I'd do it before anyone else. Thanks, Toa. Wait, do you want something more professional, like Ms. Herschel now? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Toa is just fine. Remember what I said when we first met? There's no need for formalities with me. Ms. Herschel is awfully tempting, though. <sighs> She hasn't changed a bit. So, Toa, you've been here a little while now, right? What's her new workplace like? Hmm. Well, I'm sure they told you a bunch of different things when you accepted your position. But I think this job is going to turn out to be a lot more difficult than you expect. Will it? I've been mentally preparing myself for the worst. I just hope I'm ready. Have you already met all of our colleagues? Yeah, we've all met. You're the last to arrive. I'll introduce you to them. But brace yourself, okay? <laughs> I feel like the butterflies in my stomach have turned into stampeding rhinociders. It, it's okay. I'm in the same boat as you. Let's work together as fellow graduates of Thor's and get through this. <laughs> Roger that. Oh, we're here. The color's different, but it's nice they kept the horned lion crest. Mm-hmm. This is the main entrance to our new workplace. Welcome, Reen. To the newly established Thor's Military Academy branch campus in Leeds. Rin Schwarzer, welcome. I am Michael Irving of the Railway Military Police. Branch campus though it may be, I will do my utmost to serve as Chief Instructor. <laughs> well, well. Lucky me. 
Didn't expect to run into such a celeb at a place like this. Name's Randolph Orlando. Got transferred here from the Imperial Army Crossbell Unit. I've been hearing your name all over lately. Pleasure to finally meet the man himself. Reen. I'm Reen Schwarzer. Just a rookie who recently graduated from Thor's main campus. Pleased to meet you, Major Irving, First Lieutenant Orlando. Likewise. It's an honor to be able to work with the famous Ashen Chevalier. But keep in mind, we're not looking for heroics from Divine Knights here. We're only interested in your aptitude as an instructor. Understood. He's from the Railway Military Police. I certainly didn't expect to find a ranking officer like him working here. Not to mention... That look tells me you know a bit about my sordid backstory. Been peeking through the Intelligence Division's files, I take it. Yes, I can't deny it. From what I could tell, it was a pretty complicated situation that sent you here. <laughs> Not as complicated as yours, I'm sure. Anyway, all of us instructors are here now. Major, Instructor Randolph, I'm looking forward to working with you. Indeed. I'm curious to see what you'll bring here. Especially after you turn down a position with us. I've been curious as to why. <laughs> uh, so you knew about that? Oh, that's so? You must be better than you look for the RMP to roll out the red carpet. I heard you graduated early. What are you, like 17 or something? Um... Actually, I'm 21. W what? Nuh-uh. You're seriously only three years younger than me? Four instructors. That's about what I was expecting, honestly. Are we going to teach the entire curriculum among us, though? Correct. There aren't many students, but it will still require great work on our part. Training, lectures, all manner of miscellaneous tasks. We will, however, receive assistance from the special advisor and the principal. We have a special advisor? Then what's our principal like? Well... Let's just say that out of all the people in this great big empire, I never thought I'd meet someone quite as intense as our principal. Really? Uh, try not to be too shocked, okay? You've actually met her before, Reen. Thank you for waiting. Oh, speak of the devil? Coming. Hmm. Whatever is that slack-jawed expression for? I believe we met during the Civil War. Or have you already forgotten my face? Not that I give a whit either way. Uh, no, of course not. It's good to see you again, Professor Schmidt. I've always appreciated how you helped me with Valimar's Tachi. As I said before, save it. Though my title is Special Advisor, I plan to focus only on my research. Do endeavor to make yourself useful to me, Schwarzer. Or should I say, Ashen Awakener. <laughs> <sighs> he was one of Professor Epstein's disciples, right? Or maybe not. You sure he ain't some faker? Uh, no, he's the real deal. <sighs> I'm starting to understand why I got hired here in the first place. I never imagined I would meet you here. Oh, it's been about half a year, hasn't it, Schwarzer? Well, since we've all gathered, allow me to say a few words about myself. During the Civil War, I was the general of the defeated Noble Alliance. I then oversaw the Northern War, resulting in the annexation of North Ambria. But you may think of me as Aurelia Le Guin, principal of Thor's branch campus. <laughs> Reen, 
All that packed into one woman. Guess it's not so crazy for you to be here after all, eh, Major? Huh. Uh, Principal Le Guin, it's time. Shall we proceed? Yes, let's begin. Herschel, gather up our fledglings and bring them to the grounds. Y yes ma'am. I'll see you soon, Rain. Bah. Alrighty, let's see what kind of guys and gals we got. Schwarzer, see to it you aren't late. Late? To what? To our entrance ceremony, of course. What? I had no idea. Huh. That would be because we set the date and time without telling you. You'll even be meeting your fledglings there. Exciting, no? Show them what it means to be the Ashen Chevalier. Hmm. It's starting to seem like the rumors about this place being difficult. Or an exaggerations. All right then. I should probably put these on. Golden Rakshasa? And that black-haired guy! Whoa! He's super famous! Huh, it's him! <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> oh dear. How unexpected. The Ashen Chevalier. No way. <laughs> what? Attention! I will have silence! We will now begin the entrance ceremony for Thor's Military Academy's branch campus. The opening speeches will be omitted. We will begin by announcing class assignments. First, Class 8, Combat Tactics. The instructor is Randolph Orlando. Right. Step forward when I call your name. Jessica, Wayne, Sydney, Maya, Ash, Freddy, Gustav, and Leonora. You eight. <laughs> Next, Class 9, Military Finance. The instructor is Toa Herschel. Um, I'll call out names now. Sandy, Kyrie, Tita, Louise, Tatiana, Valerie, Muse, Pablo, and Stark. There are nine of you in total. <laughs> class 8 and Class 9. Combat Tactics and Military Finance. Then the ones left over are... Silence! We will now have a word from our principal. Principal, if you would. Huh. I am Aurelia Le Guin, principal of the Branch Campus. As some of you are new to Erebonia, not all of you may be familiar with my name. That, however, is of little concern to me. A few of you may have noticed already, but I'll spell it out for the rest. This school is a trash bin. 
Hmm. Thor's main campus will be welcoming the Crown Prince this year. As such, it will go through heavy reform. This campus is a place they can toss aside those deemed too troublesome or those with problematic backgrounds. Just like that, all of you, our instructors, and even myself, are here because we have been tossed aside. <sighs> hey now. No, Principal Le Guin, that is far too... However, there is a saying. Be ever vigilant as though the world is a battlefield. Such a mindset is difficult to learn in times of peace. However, the situation we find ourselves in is a perfect environment for it. Those who lack the resolve to better themselves, to reforge themselves in the fires of adversity, leave now, or you run the risk of leaving later in Adios' arms. Very well. In that case, I welcome each and every one of you to Thor's Military Academy's branch campus. Arise, O oh youth, and become the foundation of the world. I greet you with these familiar words from Emperor Dragons. and overwhelmed now, but... Just where are we supposed to go? <sighs> General, um, Principal, could I get you to announce the final class? <sighs> huh? Very well. We'll be picking up after the main campuses, classes 1 through 6, with our own classes 7 through 9. The three of you make up Class 7, Special Operations. Your instructor will be him, Reen Schwarzer. <laughs> 